Hey guys, welcome back to Get Real with Jay Reacts. Today we're going to watch Fallout Season 1, Episode 3. Now, I know there's only one season so far as of this recording, but the show is so popular, I'm sure they're going to renew for a Season 2. To watch the full-length reactions, check me out on Patreon, Get Real with Jay. Let's go. Go. The beginning. All right, we're gonna finally see what happened to this guy. I just assumed he was a good guy at the very beginning. I don't know if he's a bad guy, but he's definitely not a good guy. Maybe he's an anti-hero. Feo fuerte y formal means he was ugly, strong, and had dignity. I'll give you two out of three on that front. Do I really have to kill him? Cuts? <laughs> I was gonna say, is he filming a movie? I guess so. Uh, Emil, can you come over here and I talk to you cool. for just a second? Well, why can't I just arrest a guy like I normally do? It's a new kind of Western. A yeah, new America, that's what I'm telling you, so... Uh, hey, let's, uh, let's pick this up after lunch, all right? Oh... Is it reckless to assume that's gonna be you the mother of that little girl you had? The rest of us? You know, a lot of people like to write it off as some old lady flavor, but it's subtle. Flirtation. Tastes like someone touching you for the first time. I need some of that. Smooth, you kind of stroked your finger there. Uh-oh. Um, that's the worst <laughs> yeah, I don't want any of that now. <laughs> thing I've ever proved my Oh, wait. Um, we got to ask your oh. mother. Please, Mommy. Sure. Oh. It's like, it's kind of right. Wow. Hmm. Okay, we should get going. Right. Photographer's ready and waiting. Okay, what is this? A bit of a costume change. They even made it in your color. Okay, Janie. Let's go. I seem happy. Whoa. Oh, <laughs> the dude got his head chopped off. <gasps> so I guess you can't plug your nose if you have nothing there to plug. Hmm. Take the dog with you. There you go. Come on, let's go find the rest of them. The Lone Wanderer is what we got here. Kind of a Lone Wanderer Easter egg. I like that opening. That opening was sick. She's just walking around with that thing in her hand. That's hilarious. You think she'd have like some beasts following her because they could smell the dead, like some scavengers or something. That's <laughs> so gross. What is so special about you? Hmm. Keep your secret, sir. So she just put a tracker on it in case she loses the head. Find us a bug. Don't lose your head. Boy, that night really was something, huh? I wonder who he was. I'd be terrified to be out there like that. Oh. Night Titus. You gotta be Titus. This is Night Titus. This is Petty Officer Short Sight. You doesn't anything like him. We were attacked. Huh. By an abomination. My squire, he fell in battle. Copy that. We'll get you a replacement squire. Right away. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I'm okay. You can smash a communication piece. That doesn't mean it's going to smash a tracker. Yo, that armor is I'll sick, right man. Now. If you're a Fallout fan, comment below. What would you rather be? Would you want to be a... Uh, have the power armor, or you want to be something else? Walk around with a vault suit on, raider outfit. I can fix it. Cost you five caps. That's cheap. If you have it. Uh, could you do it for four? Yeah. Well, you better go loot someone. Oh no. <laughs> Extra, if you do it fast. 
Oh, hell no. Damn. So that'll be interesting. I'd be like, <clears throat> get off my stuff, homie. Step away from the armor. It's funny he can't talk as well because he got his freaking. <clears throat> so he could probably fight a little bit just because he's kind of military trained. He's got a lot of practice getting his butt kicked too. Find us, keep us, my lord. music. What's he gonna do? Oh snap. Here we go. Yo, one hit with that wrench, you're done. <laughs> Oof. Yep. That'll be right. A couple hits, it's a wrap. If they ask me, I get yeah, wait till he turns around and hits that button. Do it. Oh. <laughs> Louise. Oh. Squire time. I'd turn around and get back in that armor now that I got that piece fixed. Then they wouldn't know. Isn't this the city in, um, in Fallout 3? Not this bull. Adam City? need to make up whether you wanted to keep the city alive or blow up the ten penny tower something like that Knight Titus I am Thaddeus and I'm honored to be in your charge whoever you deem fit uh. I do not know what I've done to offend but I beg for mercy Arise, my squire, and clean this. Ah, uh, clean my jock strap. Of course. We're not the only ones in search of this remnant from the old world. The Elder Cleric says, hmm. whoever gets the target will control the wasteland. We are to kill whomever stands in our way. Understood. Surprising to make him clean that hand off. Clean this brain. Thing looks like it's like this big. Is it a micro Bambi? You like grass? Huh. Ooh, look at the water. Yeah! Girl, you better get away from the water. There you go. Oh, what? Smelt the head. Hell no. How do you, cowboy? Hello again. Damn. Damn, you spilled her eggs. No, I lost it. She's kind of dead. Feces. Go, forget it, huh? Meet again. Oh, I forgot all about the rest of these people. Okay. I'm being reassigned. I guess I'm not gatekeeper anymore. I'm just not really sure who I even am anymore. <laughs> Do that one job. I wonder how many vault dwellers are going to be walking around this uh, October Halloween. You know why you're in here? Because I helped my sister escape the vault. You and Chet put your sister in incredible danger by helping her out that vault door. You could have gotten us all killed. What are we going to do with you? Punish me with a demotion, I guess. Are you aware that at every job you've been assigned to, your performance review has been lax enthusiasm? No, but that sounds accurate. You're currently working with computers and information maintenance. How do you like that? I like enthusiasm. 
Well done. It's a predicament, isn't it? I'm just glad to hear that we punish people down here for breaking the rules. Now that I think of it. Uh oh. Cleaning up dead bodies. Uh oh. Running food to the prisoners? Your catered snackables have arrived. I don't know, man. What would you guys do? They'd have to die. It's the only way to keep order. I was gonna say one of them better have a, a character arc, but it doesn't sound like we're on our way there yet. Right your fucking head open. What if they'd fight each other for the food? Hmm. I don't see any apples, sir. You climb higher. It might not be an apple tree. Definitely not an apple tree. I will find you. Fuck. Oh snap! I'm not hungry anymore. You're the sir. Like an artifact to retrieve. Let's go. Okay. Surprised you could stand up, man. Yeah, guy from the enclave. Guy everybody's looking for. You saw him? I did. He left with a girl. A ghoul intervened. Those things are scary as shit. Bet you just killed it on sight. Oh, you're a ghoul? You're a dead ghoul. No. If we find the ghoul, we find the target. All wastelanders leave radiation trails. I got a trail! What a weird looking device. This way! Where are you waiting? That is a comically large bag he has to carry. I think this was him? Hard to tell. Show me the illustration. Yeah, that's, that's definitely him. Who do you think did this, the girl or the ghoul? The ghoul. Definitely. Okay, so I think that the ghoul probably should be... Probably went that way. Yo. Whatever you want. Got a anchor on her? Got a gunner like that? Ugh, that water, man. Torture is wrong. I used to do these things called studies. One particular oh. study came out, and it said that torturing a person don't do shit. <laughs> In fact, as time marched on, I personally noticed a, a decided uptick. Yeah. I need the head. It's the only way I can get my father back. Torturing person don't do shit. Why are you doing this? I'm using you as bait. Oh, damn. So those aren't teeth, those are like these weird toe tentacle thingies. <laughs> okay, now she's missing a boot. Oh, smashes medicine or whatever that was. It's not her fault. You can't treat people like this. Yeah, why is that? Because of the golden rule. She's all sick. Do unto others as you'd have done her unto eyes. you. You got time. Where are we going? What about the head? What about the dog? He ain't mine. Alrighty then. Can you make me a new boot out of some twigs? Sorry, I'm derelict of my duties here. <laughs> what are you doing? Filling your water bag so you can stay hydrated. Seems like he would. That box would just. Seen some things, huh? Explode. I grew up uh, working on a fly farm. Fly farm? I was a shitter. So they'd feed us, and then I'd feed our shit to the flies. What? Mulch him up and sell his protein. Uh, anyway, that, that's why I'm so fat. <laughs> God damn, that is so gross. Your uh, former squire. How did he die? You knew him? Yeah, I, I, I did. Say something about him. Well, he, uh, he was a good guy. There's something negative about him. 
Well, uh, he's dead. <laughs> he, he's he's dead. In order, my squire. To be honest, me and the other guys used to be pretty hard on him. Hold on. I can't get over that whole fly farm story. That is disgusting. So they would crap, feed the crap to the flies, turn the flies into protein, and that's how he became so fat. <laughs> All right. People at the base, they used to beat the shit out of me all the time. This shipment of new recruits came in, and uh, one of them was Maximus. It was a funny idea, but if we beat the shit out of that guy instead, mm. and it worked. I just wish he lived long enough to find someone else to beat up, you know? Only seems fair. People die all the time. It's the law of the wasteland, so who cares, right? But still, uh, I feel bad. Let's go. We're losing daylight. Incarcerated in our temporarily repurposed reading room. It's an ethical dilemma like nothing we've dealt with before. The fact remains we need to decide what to do with these prisoners. You gotta kill him. The young man Woody interrogated this morning? That is the gentleman who showed me his butthole. Yes, but what I took from that is a desire to communicate. That's a spark we could work with to create a great citizen. The most ethical solution would be to rehabilitate the prisoners and then integrate them into our vault crazy? society. To be clear, this is not a process that will happen overnight. But, but there is nothing we can't do when we set our minds to it. I don't care if his neck it. is broke, I would push him off the pedestal like, boy, get out of here. Is there something you'd like to say, Norm? I don't know, I don't think it's our job to help these people. They're murderers. The hard truth is we can't just let them go. So what do you propose we do? We can do what they would have done to us. That. Jeez oh, Louise, no. Uh, sirs? Uh, Go ahead. The water chip is destroyed. The vault only has enough water to keep our population alive for uh, two months. And, and that's not accounting for the prisoners. Okay. That's fine. That's enough. Thanks. We have 12 though. prisoners. Uh, he killed my husband. If your father were here, he. He'd do the right thing. Mm. Uh oh. Are you sure about this? It says the ghoul is this way. Oh man. What? One of these two about to be whatever that thing is, food. I'm not sure we're tracking the right abomination. Get back to shore. But, sir! Go! Get Stormtrooper aim. Thing looks like a giant newt. Nice shot. Oh no, we're gonna lose this guy. <laughs> I got you. Oh no. Oh, their fingers. That's disgusting. Is the head gonna be there? He saved me. He saved me first. Hmm. Her boot. Where's the head? Oh, oh, it's so gross. Is that the head? It's the body! Yes! That's funny. California Crest. I wonder if they filmed this on 29 Palms Highway. You guys ever been there before? Look it up, 29 Palms. There's a bunch of buildings just like that that have, I don't know, maybe they did nuclear experiments on them decades ago. Sir, please. I need water. Dirty. Ah. Uh. Nope, can't go that way. Water, water everywhere, not a drop to drink. Ain't much stays clean up here, Vaulty. Vaulty. You'll see. Oh, him. I wonder if he tried to get to the shelter and they wouldn't let him in. Yo, he's got a vault suit on. Hold up. Huh. 
Interesting. Hey, are you ready to meet the suits? On behalf of the whole Waltech family, we wanted to say how delighted we are that Barb could use her connections to get to you. You know, I've never done an advertisement before in my life. So I bet when it came to it, he wouldn't he couldn't even get in. Which would be a little you, shitty. This thing really blocked radiation. On behalf of every decent American, I just want to say thank you. Well, I'll bet you I'm a gonna be a big star. Hey, I, I, I have an idea. What if, uh, what if I do, were to do like a thumbs up? Go for it, Coop. Oh. You call them Coop? Biggest fool. The episode one, they were making fun of them, those two guys, about that's what you're good at. I didn't know what the hell that meant. Naturally. Mm. All right. Uh, so my initial thoughts are, you know, we're starting to kind of move along with the storyline and uh, Maximus, assuming they're all Titus with his new squire, they're, hopefully they're going to become friends. Maybe the squire gets to see who he is probably in the next episode or two. The ghoul and what's her name? Lucy, right? They're on their own little adventure with the dog CX-404. But Maximus and the Squire have the head, so it'll be interesting to see where this goes from here. But I like how we're taking the ghoul and kind of building this on his backstory. So there's really multiple main characters, I guess, but, you know, who's more important? Lucy trying to find her dad, or is it really the ghoul? You know, and what happened to him, and why isn't he in the vault? My theory is... When it came down to it, maybe he wasn't a pure enough person, and so he wasn't allowed admitted to the vault, which is probably why he hates the vault. I'm assuming he hates him because he blew the head off. But we all know the famous vault boy is doing this on the, uh, what is it? The bobbleheads that we collect in the games that I had on here, I think episode one or two. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to episode four. <laughs> I love the music, but it's really hard to edit because of the copyrights. That was a jerk move of him not giving her any water. Someone underneath there, they're still human. Hmm. Are we gonna see a super mutant? You don't sound very uh, pretty. All right, here we go. What do we got here? <laughs> Just a ghoul. Damn it! Fancy seeing you out here. Hmm. <laughs> Shit. Oh, he's out of his meds or whatever. How you feeling? <laughs> it's hard out here. I wonder who that is. Dang, some of these can be so unkind. I'll have to check the credits. So I wonder if they turn feral without their meds. Turn it. Yeah. Hey, you, you don't have to have any vials, do you? I'm sorry, Roger. I'm all out. He's got broken, didn't he? You and your smooth-faced friend might want to clear out before things get ugly. 28 years since I first started showing. Jeez, man. It's weird to feel bad for that but i kind of do <laughs> you've outlasted us all how long since you first started wastelanding a long time hmm. <sighs> see remember how good food used to taste <laughs> lamb co mac and cheese ice cream and apple pie <laughs> ah, damn apple pie <laughs> you know my mom used to <laughs> Ooh. Nice distraction. Had to do it. Why? Why'd you do that? Stop! Stop! Ooh. Stop! Please! I, you don't have. You don't have to. Girl, be quiet. To... You don't know what's going on. What did you say your name was? Lucy McLean. McLean. Did she ever say her name before? It ain't all canned peaches and marmalade left up here, sweetheart. Sometimes, what? fellas got to eat a fella. My vault was endured hardship judge. too. Everyone had to quarantine. They couldn't work the farms together. People starved, my mother included. My dad dropped to 128 pounds and he still refused to do anything like this. As what people say they did, 
and what they really did. Well, I bet your daddy was first in line at the cookout. I bet he had a bill with a drawing of his neighbor's ass on there. How do you live like this? Why keep going? Good question. Because I want to look like Deadpool without a nose. Well, one good question deserves another. Why the fuck am I doing all the work? Ass jerky don't make itself. So he was cutting his ass. <laughs> I'm surprised she didn't try to stab him. Hello, fella. Nice work on your posters. Well, thanks, Reg. I've been admiring yours as well. Any luck? I asked him all sorts of questions. Who he is, who he works for, why his colleagues kidnapped Overseer McLean. Fool got like a dog collar on him so you can no see through content. it. We better trank him again. There you are. Thought you might be up here. You came here to talk to me about what I said at the assembly. You're not the only one that feels the absence of your father. People here are hurting. And with your sister gone, you're the last standing McLean. So shouldn't he be the... Your voice carries more weight than you might realize. The overseer then? During the raid, I got into storage space and I hid. That's how you survive, Does that man. make you angry? I'd be hiding like a mug too. Regular boys can't get angry and they'll just pee on the wall. When clever boys like you are angry, you're lucky not to have seen where that can lead. She said you're a psycho. Just tread lightly. Was that a like a, a a warning because she cares about him, or a warning like don't push us, or we'll we'll do you? I know Lucy needs some water. Hmm, don't drink it, girl. What a jerk move, man. Ah, Lucy. Ah, you good. Hmm. How does that golden rule drive what's going through your head right now? She about to go feral on his ass. What are you? Oh, I'm you, sweetie. You just <laughs> give it a little time. <laughs> You're cool with asthma. You ain't going nowhere. Damn. There you are, you little killer. Oh, man. Homie. Now, that right there is the closest thing we've had to an honest exchange so far. Damn. I was wondering how many times we were going to check in with the vault, but it looks like every episode, which is kind of cool. I thought I'd just stop by and see how you're doing. How are you handling the, uh... It's funny how NPC-ish they actually look. Death of the father of your unborn baby. Well, I thought maybe you might want some of them. Well, they're going to hook up. He was a good man, Steph. You think so? He took great care of his shoes. It would mean a lot to me if you took Bert's shoes. Wow. <laughs> Thank you, Steph. I'll try to wear them. Oh, good. And this. Oh, Bert. It's not your look, homie. <coughs> oh, Bert. Oh, Bert. Oh, Bert. Bert. Had a boy. Now that is one wet lady. Oh, her water broke. <laughs> the man's got some blue balls. Go with that blue suit. Oh, I forgot she's got one. 
Super Duper Mart. Let's go. Two months supply of vials. Exchange one female, mint condition. Hmm. Near mint condition. Condition grading requires physical evaluation. Please send her in. That's gotta be a robot. What's in there? I'd be like, if you kill me, good luck on getting your vials. Oh. I think a part of her wants to stay with him, although he's a complete asshole. My man needs his vials. Oop. She needs a stem pack like a mug. Welcome. What the fudge? Fudge? There's no fudge here. Apologies for the mess. Time flies by lately. Would you mind taking a seat on that gurney in front of you? Ah! Uh, to... uh, this one will do it. Oh, uh, uh, gross! Now, if you give me your hand. Thank you. I, nice I really do appreciate this. That's much better, isn't it? Ah. Uh. Now, would you prefer classic cotton or a comforting synthetic cotton blend? You have real cotton? Girl, I'd be asking for water and some Blamco yeah, mac and cheese. Creature that brought me here. He, you seem unhappy. He did not treat me very courteously. Really? But at least around my neck and he made me drink from pot of water. Well, that is interesting. Ah, I just picked up on the NPC responses. <laughs> I'm simply going to harvest your organs. What? Huh? Dessert tray incoming. I don't know, man. I would have, I would have killed them fools. There's no rehabilitating. Wait, they're getting Jello cake? I wonder what your dad would say about this. She wants some Jello. How is he gonna know? I'm gonna put this in my fridge. Damn, she took the whole damn cart. Oh, he knew it. What are you looking at? A murderer in a cage? Paying the price for what you did to us. For what you did to the innocent people in Vault 32. I don't know what the people of Vault 32 were up to. But it was anything but innocent. Hmm. The plot thickens. Yeah, because they had to have opened their door for those raiders to come down. Just hilarious to me. The looks on both their faces. Come on. You have to see this. That's a little dude, man. That's a little dude, comma, man. Or dude, man. I should say this for the end, but just to get it out, I love how they've done these vaults. They've done the vaults justice. You see, whatever happened here happened a long time ago. So maybe the raiders are just squatting. Damn. The last biosignal detected was two years ago. Damn. It's got a stink in there, right? A toaster. You know what you can do with a toaster? Yeah, how do they handle overpopulation of the vault? So if they were already dead when the raiders got here, who killed, killed them? them? Right. I mean, it looks like they strangled each other with their hands. They went mad. We know the truth. Wow. This episode goes back and forth between super silly weirdness and like really serious stuff. Ruthie. Oh my. Pardon the interruption. Our latest arrival has arrived. What are they asking, Snip Snip? 60 vials. We can do 60. Fantastic. Who's that dude? I've seen him before on the left. I don't know the dude on the right. Thanks, Snap Snap. Do excuse me. Where are you from again? Oh my gosh. 
Here we are. Let's get on with it, shall we? Please, I need my organs. She. Oh. Good job, Lucy. Hands up. Do as I say and Snip Snip doesn't get hurt. It's a fucking robot. Hmm. But you know what I mean? Does she know what you mean? I think I do. That's why I put a Braxo draining fluid in his syringes. Poisonous. Okay. You can walk out of here. Not just me. Them too. Hmm. You don't want to release them to the wasteland, do you? No. Oh. It's a bunch of ghouls. Hey, thank you. It's not Feral. I said all of them. Lady, those those ones you don't understand. Lucy, you about to ask for something you don't want? Don't be scared. Oh gosh. Damn. Well, she just came up on some medicine, hopefully some water, a cup of noodles, some weapons, ghouls outside passed out. Martha. Oh, hey, Martha. That's right. Your name is Martha. You have to kill Martha, man. Better shoot her with some Abraxo. Or that. Come on, I know there's someone in there. Talk to me. Hopefully that wasn't Bruce Wayne's Martha or Clark Kent's Martha. Could I help you have a better day? No, thank you. You know, it's disgusting to me how people have their mouth open with blood all over it. I'm always, I'd be like... Yo, know, those things look scary as hell. I think it's safe to say they went bananas. It still doesn't explain how the Raiders got in. Death to management. These people are crazy. It says it was open from the outside. Oh. No. They need a pit boy to open the door. They had one. Who's? Rose McLean. My mom's. Oh, wow. Well, well, well. You don't get these. You turn into one of those. She could put him out of his misery right now. I may end up looking like you. I'll never be like you. Golden rule, motherfucker. Now I just gotta figure out how to get his ass up and take it. Yeah, I'd be walking out of there with a whole lot more than a freaking pistol. Jackpot. Hmm. Oh. You're gonna get high off this stuff. Or drunk. I can't make you Say him. Son of a gun, man. Look at that. Huh. Means he was ugly, strong, and had dignity. Well, Joey, I'll give you two out of two three. Two out of three on that front. That's right. Yeah! 
Let's go. That's the end. Let's stop this madness. Wow, that was an exciting episode. I am so excited about it. Wow, episode four. So we have eight episodes. So maybe this is a turning point for him, right? I, it has to be a turning point where he goes from being just an asshole ghoul to being useful. He's probably going to meet up with Lucy and help her, whatever. She did save his life. So he's got to owe her something for that. So I'm excited to see where this goes. I have no idea where it's going. So last time we saw Maximus, he was with his squire. I forgot his squire's name. And they were on the trail of the ghoul and Lucy. What's going on in the vault? What happened to Vault 32? That reminds me a lot of the game. Because some of the vaults that you would go into, I mean... Some of you know this because you play the game just like me, but those of you who don't know, there's vaults you would go into, and I remember there was like a mad crazy vault. And I don't remember if that was Fallout 4, or um, it has to be Fallout 4, I don't think it was New Vegas. I think it was Fallout 4. But then the Super Duper Mart, I love the fact that they have the Super Duper Mart. I'm still trying to see, or I'm still waiting to see if we get some superhumans, not superhumans, but super mutants, because that was such a big part of the game. At least three, four... Oh, New Vegas, and I would assume 76. Like I said, I only played 76 for a little bit because it was just completely different than any other Fallout game I've ever played. I'm excited to see where this goes. And then with them having Rose McClain's Pip-Boy, you know, is she alive? Is Mr. McClain lying about whatever happened to the mother? We'll find out, I guess.